Central Africa is a really interesting case to consider nutrition and food security because it, it, the, the problem of food security and nutrition here is very great. Um, micronutrient deficiency rates are very high, rates of anemia, iron deficiency anemia and vitamin A deficiency are higher here than almost anywhere else in the world. And the rates here, at least for vitamin A deficiency, are uh, getting worse rather than better as they are in other parts of the world. My PhD research in Tanzania looked at the relationship between forest cover and vegetable consumption. And we found that while there was no relationship during the rainy season when vegetables are readily available, there was a relationship in the dry season when vegetable consumption is much lower because women say that it's much more difficult and more time consuming to find enough vegetables to provide for their families. This would suggest that as climate change uh, makes it hotter and drier in some parts of the world, especially through the Sahel, it will be important to maintain tree cover so that there are microclimates needed to provide both cultivated and wild vegetables for dietary intake. Vegetables are essential for micronutrient intake and as part of a complete diet. It was really good to hear the Honourable Minister of Agriculture speak yesterday about uh, the Sun Movement that has uh, been working with the Ministry of Agriculture here. This movement is the Scaling Up Nutrition Movement and it really encourages those working in the Ministry of Agriculture to pay greater attention to nutrition. Uh, we working in, the, in forestry and working on non-timber forest products need also to pay greater attention to nutrition because while agriculture is fairly efficient at providing sufficient energy or calories, it is not as good at providing micronutrients which come uh, in readily available from forest foods such as fruits and vegetables. We don't know enough about what is needed to improve nutrition, but we do know that people need to consume more fruits and vegetables. And the role of trees and forests in the provisioning of fruits and vegetables is increasingly acknowledged, although much more research is needed to better understand those links.